chrysalis how i hate thee i hope i don't die but if i'm gonna die anywhere in this episode it's gonna be here in chrysalis mostly probably because of those little mooks right there the turtles on the hoverboards they have a very annoying jerky wavy pattern and they have a tendency to uh hide inside platforms that you can't really shoot through which is super annoying mega 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 annoying let's go this way why don't we so we want to keep a wall of we want to keep a wall firing at all times let's go ahead and uh, pop down okay I am gonna get you at some point right okay good but yeah those guys are everywhere and their little green pellets can sometimes spawn from off screen meaning they are total jerks and you got some kind of potaboo balls here but mostly I really like the design of this planet even though this planet is hard as balls even on easy mode it is really cool it's like an entire planet made out of gold and it's completely awesome I totally love it gems and gold and stuff and there are even some cooler platforms later on I like the I like also the uh, sagging physics of this bridge that's actually gonna come into play in uh, getting some items later on which is very interesting how they integrated that this is a really carefully I say this level is like a jerk as Malarcus, but it's a really it's a really well thought out level as far as design goes there is really strategic enemy placement there's some gold spike balls we'll run into that are just kind of being stationary and jerks but they put them in front of these liquid gold cascades right here so sometimes you can't see that you're about to get hit by a terrible enemy oh hey all right this is cool to me all right we want to be yeah see they can go retreat into the into the ledges there so you got to shoot them as soon as you see them basically and have a uh, yeah have a barrage of gunfire going at all times that's generally just good advice anyway but here it's especially good it seems like anytime there's a brown background like in Fanolin or Chris oh hey hip-hop didn't see you there you will probably get lost really quickly though to be honest not gonna really rely on him for much around here okay I think it's safe to pop down then there we go yeah and there are too many walls he's not really gonna be useful if I lose him I'm not really gonna be too sad actually okay now we need to get down into we need to get up into there somehow how are we gonna spawn that in the right place oh crap okay there we go very good ah but I got greedy for the carrot shit <laughs> I really want that carrot because it's really important to have as much health as you can get in chrysalis and uh, he was a nice little hit there I probably just a wash actually in general okay up through here some very tricky platforming particularly at the beginning of, yeah see there's one of those hidden things right there you got to be shooting basically at all times if you want to get this right uh, let's uh, get some gunfire going down that way okay we should be good to uh, pop in at this point okay good 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 I am being uh, actually much more careful than usual. I'm very proud of myself. I'm usually very reckless in this world, and I end up dying at least once, which is bad, because for one, you lose your rapid fire. You don't want to lose that. Your rapid fires are awesome. They're what keep you going. They're what give you a fighting chance in really difficult levels like this. You can have all the uh, spare ammo you want. It won't really matter if you don't. And these things are all of a sudden, I think, taking more hits than I thought I think they maybe think they thought they were. Okay, so now I'm going to have to just shoot these guys. Awesome. Shoot them all dead. Okay, I can probably jump over the one. I'm good at this point. Okay. Yep. Haha. <laughs> I can just pop in right behind you and you can die and that'll be great. That'll work for all of us. Yeah, I love... There's going to be... There's cool platforms already around here, but... And you got that glassy effect from brown levels like Fanolin. And uh, later on in the uh, lettered episodes, there's a planet called Ceramicus that's going to have this same thing going on. It seems like whenever they have a brown background, they resort to that. They resort to that shimmery glass effect. Let's get out of here while we can. I can leave all the enemies I want. I just need to get out of here with my lives intact. This is a really tricky segment, especially for. I mean, this is a pretty. Whoa. I pretty much deserve to get hit there. I don't know how I didn't actually. 
But you want to go through clearing out enemies before you try anything major. This is a very wide open segment, especially for a non-airboard level. This can be very... It can be very easy to lose energy and die here. Oh, hey. Hey, hello. Okay. Might want to launch you. That seems like a subtle hint. As good a recommendation as any to just pop in from above on you. What am I doing? I'm waiting for the guy to pop up, Jazz. I'm Mr. Strategy Man around here. You keep your mouth shut. These are very wonky hit detection platforms. They're spaced out kind of weird. So you got to be really careful standing on them because I believe you can actually fall between them if you are, uh, yeah. See, if, you, uh, if you're too careful, you can actually fall between them. So you need to, uh, you need to actually watch out and just kind of move over them very smoothly and fluidly. And you should actually jump when there's a, when you're faced with a giant chasm. That's also a good bit of advice for getting over pits. Oh my god. Okay. Those things have a really annoying tendency to be positioned near walls. That's going to come into play uh, later on when we're going for the uh, bonus gym as well. Let's see. If we go up here, we can uh, get some ammo. But what I'm really concerned about right now is keeping my life intact. So I'm going to skip most of those toasters up there. We might end up with a pretty shoddy item percentage. Uh, if we want to get out of here in one piece. But... You know, it's all just points. It doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, okay, and I'm just getting carrots for no real reason here. Although, by the time you get to this point, it's pretty easy, actually, to be taken down to the reds. Even to that blinking red. Oh, crap. Woo! Man, how am I not running into some of these enemies here? This is really... Okay. You can actually, uh, you can actually get, uh, much closer to ledges than it looks like you can. A jump like this is not too bad. All you gotta do is just get up on the rounded part of the edge. You don't wanna jump too far up onto them. Basically just jump and tap left to make sure you get a foothold. And then you can blast away as much as you want. This down here is what I like right here. I like these coin platforms. A stack of coins so dense and tightly packed. This is like Scrooge McDuck Planet. I love it. I love that coin platform. I wish it had showed up more often, actually. It's pretty awesome. Hello, checkpoint. Wow, we are doing really well. I usually do a lot worse around here. So, you are seeing me basically making this look easy as pie. Just shoot at that wall, basically, until he comes around. Alright. Springy shoes! Yes, that's going to be integral to getting the bonus around here. Hey, you, you were not invited to this party. Get out. This is uh, actually getting fairly linear. The first level is much more branching out. I'm amazed we got as many items as we did, considering how open-ended the first level is. This one is much more linear. See, this is, a, this is a nasty part right here. Basically, the only time you can get this particular turtle is when he's inside the little trough there. And uh, you have to not shoot like a dumber. Okay. Okay, you can go away anytime now, Launcher. You're obviously not accomplishing anything. There we go. Yeah, see? Very strategic use of launchers. Always the favorite. Now this... You would think you would have to use the, uh... Oh, crap. You would think you have to use the spring, but that's just gonna get you stuck and probably hit. There we go. So, I'm just gonna use my springy powers and jump across. There we go. And I'm going to ignore the spring altogether. And here we go. This is where the bridge sagging comes in. You sag the bridge enough and you get invincible. And we're pretty much near the end of the level. So I can kind of do whatever I want at this point. As long as I get rid of all my enemies, I am uh, pretty gold. Pun, no pun intended. <laughs> I didn't even think about that for a second there. Let's just go ahead and uh, make sure I've gotten rid of all of these guys first. Let's go ahead and clear a path. The uh, bonus gym is not too far from here, but you have to have the springy shoes, which is why I was afraid of dying, because I didn't want to lose the edge that you get jumping from roughly right here. You want to get down on this thing right here. Okay, I didn't, well, I didn't quite want to do that, but there is a thing. Let's see, if I can, if I can get to the top, there we go, there we go, there we go, oh crap. Just jump over here, and there it is, and you can make your way to the end of the level from there. It's nice of them to put it near the end of the level, so that at least you have a fighting chance of making it out. 
if there's a place where I can stand right here where it'll just, there we go, where it'll just coast over the pillar. <laughs> That's very neat. Just stand in the right spot and they'll just coast over the gold pillar and you are good to go. I think, I think once we blast these, we are out of here. Wow, I am uh, really impressed with my chrysalis performance actually. Did I get credit for killing that last enemy? Well, it doesn't matter because I made an A. So I'm happy as far as getting items goes. I made an A, so I am happy with myself. And we get to see bonus level 2. Hoorah. How much... Oh boy, loading hiccups. Gotta love them. Except that I really don't. 20 gems. So they're gonna be really spread out, aren't they? Except uh, in cases where they're not. So, oh, they put them on the spinny pad. That's... That's cute. Okay. Ugh, I hate how easy the spinning pads make you roll. It's like they make you faster somehow, and it's weird and strange, and I don't like it. Blech. Okay, now we want to go over this way. Pretty much already half of the gems, so... I'm not too worried about our chances on this one either. Most of these are pretty easy bonus stages. Oh yeah, and this is only going to get easier from here. Okay, good. Goody goody gumdrops. This is probably going to lead us in a circle of some sort, so I'm going to go back to the main path. <laughs> It's paying off for us. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, now here's a windy path we probably need to take. Oh, yeah, you can see I'm really great at twisty pads and getting caught on square corners, whatever. Whoa, little overboard with the windiness. It's like the Lombard Street of bonus stages. I don't think I'm going to... Woo, wow, that's a hell of a place for next time. By the way, I don't think I'm going to play the bonus stages all in one run because you've gotten a pretty good idea of them from here, so... From just me playing through them. So there's no reason for me to go through them. We're just gonna get done with the main six and then the lettered episodes and that's gonna do it. There we go. Another extra life, which is gonna come in really handy soon.